Welcome to Behind the Trigger and today we're going to be comparing the Rapper Arms Lar 22 to the Tipman M4 22. Both of them are chambered and long uh, 22 long rifle. Both of them are ARs. Um, but just, just want to show a little bit of difference and show how these things operate. These are safe. They've already been checked. So let's start with the M4. I'm going to start off by removing the uppers and pairing the bolt and receiver. So obviously the sights are different. I'm going to put a scope on that one when I do the shootout. The Rock River it does have an aluminum charging handle, but the bolt loop is quite a bit different. So the other side. Now the Rock, uh, the Tipman, it has an aluminum charging handle really not noticeable when using it and as you can see it is completely different it's got the cut out the way it's cut it out now the bolt one thing I liked about the Tipman is that it has a bolt carrier group that utilizes a buffer tube um, the way this works the charging handle sits on top of it like this and pulls it back when you charge it Now, the, the Rock River has a completely different bolt design. It's actually got part of uh, the spring assemblies built into the bolt. Um, and like a traditional AR, charging handle actually sits on top. Top and rides in it just like any AR would. Now let's compare the uppers. Aesthetically, the Tipman looks like a mill spec. It is aluminum, it's not forged or billet, it is cast. And how I know it's cast is one, you can see the seams in it uh, when you look at it. The other thing is the complexity of the inside. As you can see, it's got where, where the bolt rides, it's got a support. The way that the ejector sits in there right here and the other thing is right here the side support for it so there's no way that it's possible to turn this into a uh, AR a mil spec AR this is definitely a dedicated proprietary system um, no ifs ands or but about not to mention that the um, cast aluminum will not would not handle the pressures uh, of a center fire round. Now the Rock River, as you can see, is pretty much cut out. It's all open right here. So technically, if you remove the barrel, all this this the ejector is uh, mounted to the barrel. So you can remove the barrel. You drop a uh, five five six barrel in it, or three fifty wedge, and whatever your choice is, a mill spec style barrel. It will bolt up to this. This is a mill spec upper. Okay. So it is, uh, it is forged and final machined. So this could technically handle it. All you'd have to do is remove the barrel and that would come out with it. And you'd have basically a stripped upper that Ford Assist non-functioning on the Rock River. Whereas the Tipman does have serrations cut into it. So 
therefore assist is functional. Oh, now one thing about their forward assist, it is plastic. This is plastic. It would have been nice if it was aluminum, but it's plastic. Same thing with uh, the dust cover. That is also plastic. Handguard, I got the Pro model, so handguard's plastic also. I plan on changing up the handguard, <clears throat> handguard further down the line. As for the little receivers, um, this is the Tipman. Um, pretty much looks like a mil spec lower. However, it is not. The mag well is cut different. Uh, once again, it's cast aluminum and not forged, or it's not a billet. And you can see, you can actually see, you can actually see the seam right there from the mold. Okay. Um, still not not bad mouth in it, but it is a nice little rifle so far. The trigger assembly does look to be mil spot, so it should accept just about any aftermarket AR style trigger. Now they do say that the uh, selector switch is proprietary. Don't know how true that is. Um, don't know if an aftermarket one would work. Something I'll find out later. Um, one thing that I, another thing that I do like about the Tipman, it has a functioning, functioning bolt catch. That is definitely a nice feature where the Rock River does not. You can see on the Rock River, this is a full-on mil spec lower. Um, it is one of this is a uh, arrow preci precision. Um, I kind of did a lower build just because I wanted a, wanted a lot of aftermarket. I didn't want to buy a factory wet rifle and have a bunch of extra parts and um, have to just replace them. Save a little bit of money that way. This trigger is an Elfman Tactical. It, do, it operates really good with uh, the Rock River upper. Um, yeah, and then I got the Marksman stock on it. It's a nice little setup. Once again, do not need the buffer tube for the Rock River style bolt. Now the Titman does, does utilize a buffer spring, which is actually a pretty nice feature, okay? It has, when you're operating it, it definitely has the feel of a full functioning AR-15. And you can definitely tell when that bolt locks back and you have no, no more rounds. Um, so far, I'm liking it. Now, tell everybody rifles or guns are purpose. Why do you have so many? It, because I have ones for different purposes. If you're looking for a trainer, the Tipman's probably not for you, and this is why. If you got a three gun, uh, gun that you run a certain way, you want to get used to it, the weight and everything else, you can build a AR upper to match your 5.56, your center fire upper, okay, and still utilize the same trigger without swapping out components. All you have to do is swap out the upper. Where the Tipman. You, get, it, you only have one option, and that's the upper that comes with it. No, nothing else will fit. The bolt won't, no other bolt will fit in their upper or nothing like that. So it's just a single rifle. Whereas the Rock River, you can swap it around a little bit and kind of customize it a little bit more outside of just the handguard and the buttstock. Um, once again, not dogging the Tipman. Tipman's a really good gun so far. So far, I've had C, I put about 125 rounds through it and i've had no issues it's ran good it's ran really good for me um i am going to do a shootout between these two rifles right now i'm just waiting for a 10 round mag for the tipman that way i can shoot off the bench and do a fair comparison um once again both of them are great rifles it all depends what you're using them for if you just want something out go out and plink Hey, this tipping's great, and I'm sure it's going to be accurate just from shooting with the uh, factory sights. Um, is it going to be as accurate as the Rock River? I'm not sure. We'll find out as soon as I get the mag in, probably next week. Both of them are great rifles. A lot of fun with the Tipman so far. A lot of fun. The Rock River, it's more of a target gun. Um, the upper alone weighs probably about 8 pounds nine pounds 
so complete rifle it's about 10 pounds but it also has a stainless steel heavy barrel on it where this just has a uh, government tapered barrel on it um, it all depends what you're using it for both of them are great rifles um, if I had to choose I'm definitely going to choose my Rock River Arms just because it is the lower receiver, it utilizes a true mil spec low receiver. That way, you know the parts are interchangeable. Uh, right now, I'm trying to tune a Franklin Armory trigger, binary trigger to it. Um, been a little too busy to mess with that since I got it back from Franklin. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're both great rifles. I think the Tipman is definitely a better option over the Smith & Wesson MMP22, um, my personal opinion. The Hammer Hammerleys, decent rifles also, however their triggers suck. Dittman triggers aren't bad at all for factory, it's pretty close to the Aero factory mil spec triggers. Um, one thing I do not like about the Tipman is these magazines. They look great, they look like a P-Mag or a Thermal Mold or a really good quality built AR mag however this little casing is irritating as shit I wish they just do away with this and put the mag uh, retaining latch molded into the body they're great mags I've had no issues speeding but this cover just aesthetically it's great but to actually serve a function it doesn't outside aesthetics um it gets in the way actually when you're loading it i mean they got a nice two little pull down right here so when you get so far down you can pull it down but you still it's like to get those last three or four rounds in it's a pain because this actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the body whereas this mag cover prevents you from really utilizing that extra so to comfortably load 25 you got to remove this and it's just it makes no sense once again aesthetically yeah i get it but they need to come up with another more uh, more practical design than this magazine looks really good in the gun not a fan of the functionality feed really good this case needs to go um the Rock River utilizes the CMMG Colt Trainer um, Black Dog Mag style magazines, so I've had no issues with mine. Uh, they do have their own branding, their own Rock River branding. Um, <laughs> actually, I was unable to find any uh, Black Dog Mags, so I happened to go on Rock River's website and I ordered a bunch of these uh, just because nobody knows about them. Um, and I was able to get them. Uh, Rock River is really good about chip shipping. Got them in a couple days. Um, can't say enough about the Rock River though. There's one other thing I want to show you. The magazines will fit in the Tipman uh, lower. But how do they operate? I don't know. Probably not going to find out. But the Tipman magazines will not fit in the rock and a mil spec lower it's a little bit wider a little bit wider which is fine I wouldn't even try using these magazines just because there's quite a bit of difference um, you can see on the feed lips how much higher they are on the rock river so pretty sure that it's not gonna it wouldn't feed properly um, you just need to get rid of these these mags these mag covers suck. Um, not gonna lie. Big fan of the rifle. I mean, they, they work really good. The mags, I've had no issues with the mags. I put some uh, auto match through it so far and put some um, uh, field and trainings, just some bulk federal uh, 36 grain hollow points. Ran good for, tw for a whole mag 25, no jams, no nothing. Um, both of them are great rifles. It comes down to what you're looking for, what kind of money you want to spend. One other thing Tipman, Tipman needs to improve on. Give me a break. This little freaking nut for your for your adjuster on your buttstock, really? That is horrible. 
you can sit there. I mess with this thing and mess with this thing, and it's like, come on, give me a break. You can do better than that, Tipman. If you have any questions uh, about what we talked about, I like it, uh, just uh, hit up the comment section. I am going to be doing a side-by-side -side shootout with these two rifles. I just got my spy, uh, the I, new eyepiece for my spotting scope. I'm waiting for 10-round mags that I order uh, as soon as I get those uh, mags. I'm going to get out to the range and uh, do a little shootout. If you have any questions about this, hit it in the comment section. Till then, see you guys next time.